Ready to test your knowledge? Take on this MCQs to see how well you understand immunology and its role in health and disease. Question 1. Which of the following cells is primarily responsible for antibody production? A. T cells B. B cells C. Macrophages D. Neutrophils Correct answer. B. B cells Explanation B cells are responsible for antibody production. Upon activation, they differentiate into plasma cells that secrete antibodies, playing a critical role in humoral immunity. T cells are involved in cell-mediated immunity, but do not produce antibodies. Macrophages are phagocytes that engulf pathogens and present antigens to T cells, but they are not involved in antibody production. Neutrophils are innate immune cells that perform phagocytosis and fight infections, but they do not produce antibodies. Question 2. Which immunoglobulin is most abundant in serum? A. IgA A, B IgE, C IgG, D IgM. Correct. Answer. C IgG. Explanation. IgG is the most abundant immunoglobulin in serum, accounting for about 70 to 75 percent of total antibodies. It provides long-term immunity and is involved in secondary immune responses. IgA is found mainly in mucosal areas and secretions like saliva and tears, but is less abundant in serum. IgE is involved in allergic reactions and defense against parasitic infections, but is present in very small amounts in serum. IgM is the largest antibody and is the first to be produced during an initial immune response, but is less abundant in serum compared to IgG. Question 3. Which hypersensitivity type is mediated by IgE? A. Type 1. B. Type 2. C. Type 3. D. Type 4. Correct. Answer. A. Type 1. Explanation. Type 1. Hypersensitivity involves IgE antibodies, which bind to allergens and trigger histamine release from mast cells and basophils, leading to allergic reactions. Type 2 is mediated by IgG or IgM and involves the destruction of cells via complement activation or antibody-dependent cytotoxicity, e.g. hemolytic anemia. Type 3 involves immune complexes, antigen-antibody complexes that cause inflammation, as seen in conditions like lupus. Type 4 is cell-mediated hypersensitivity, primarily involving T-cells, and is seen in delayed reactions like the tuberculin skin test. Question 4. Which of the following is the primary function of helper T-cells, CD4 plus T-cells? A. Kill infected cells. B. Stimulate B cells to produce antibodies. C. Suppress immune responses. D. Present antigens to B cells. Correct. Answer. B. Stimulate B cells to produce antibodies. Explanation. Helper T cells, CD4+, play a crucial role in stimulating B cells to produce antibodies by releasing cytokines, supporting the adaptive immune response. Cytotoxic T cells, CD8+, are responsible for killing infected cells, not helper T cells. Suppression of immune responses is typically a function of regulatory T cells, TREGS, not helper T cells. While antigen presentation is important, helper T cells do not directly present antigens to B cells. This is a function of dendritic cells and macrophages. Question 5. Which of the following statements about antigen presenting cells, APCs, is true? A. They produce antibodies. B. They have MHC class 2 molecules on their surface. C. They are only present in the lymphatic system. D. They can only activate T cells after antigen processing. Correct answer. B. They have MHC class 2 molecules on their surface. Explanation. APCs such as dendritic cells, macrophages, and B cells express MHC class 2 molecules which are essential for presenting processed antigens to helper T cells. Question 6. What is the role of complement proteins in the immune response? A. To neutralize toxins. B. To facilitate phagocytosis. C. To directly kill pathogens through lysis. D. To produce antibodies. Correct answer. C. To directly kill pathogens through lysis. Explanation. Complement proteins form part of the immune system's response to pathogens. The classical and alternative pathways lead to the formation of the membrane attack complex, MAX, which can directly lyse pathogens. While complement proteins can enhance phagocytosis, their primary role is pathogen lysis, not facilitating the process. 
Neutralizing toxins is a function of antibodies, not complement proteins. Complement proteins do not produce antibodies, though they support antibody functions in immune responses. Question 7. Which of the following cytokines is most associated with the inflammatory response? A. Interleukin 1, IL-1, B. Interferon gamma, IFNG, C. Interleukin 10, IL-10, D. Tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNFA. Correct answer. D. Tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNFA. Explanation. TNFA is a key pro-inflammatory cytokine that plays a major role in the inflammatory response, inducing fever, promoting the activation of endothelial cells, and stimulating the production of other inflammatory mediators. IL-1 also contributes to inflammation, but TNFA has a more significant role in systemic inflammatory responses. Interferon gamma, IFNG, is involved in activating macrophages and promoting Th1 responses, but is not primarily an inflammatory cytokine. IL-10 is an anti-inflammatory cytokine that inhibits the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Question 8. Which type of immunity is acquired through vaccination? A. Passive immunity B. Active immunity C. Innate immunity D. Artificial immunity Correct answer B. Active immunity Explanation Active immunity is acquired when the body is exposed to a pathogen or a vaccine, prompting the immune system to produce its own antibodies and memory cells. Passive immunity involves the transfer of antibodies from another individual, such as through breast milk or antibody therapies. Innate immunity is the body's natural defense against pathogens, present from birth and not specific to pathogens. Artificial immunity refers to immunity gained through medical intervention, like vaccines, but it is a subset of active immunity. Question 9. Which of the following is a characteristic feature of the primary immune response? A. Fast production of antibodies B. Low levels of IgM antibodies C. Formation of memory cells D. High levels of IgG antibodies Correct answer C. Formation of memory cells Explanation The primary immune response is characterized by a slower production of antibodies, primarily IgM initially, followed by the formation of memory cells. These cells help the body respond more rapidly in the future if the same pathogen is encountered. Fast antibody production occurs during the secondary immune response, not the primary response. IgM is usually the first antibody produced and IgG levels are initially low in the primary response. Question 10. Which of the following is an example of a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction? A. Poison IV rash B. Asthma due to pollen C. Blood transfusion reaction D. Autoimmune disease Correct answer B. Asthma due to pollen Explanation Type 1 hypersensitivity reactions are IgE mediated and cause allergic reactions such as asthma triggered by pollen, hay fever or anaphylaxis. Poison IV rash is a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, delayed type hypersensitivity. Blood transfusion reactions are typically type 2 cytotoxic hypersensitivity reactions. Autoimmune diseases are usually associated with type 3, immune complex mediated, or type 4 hypersensitivity. Question 11. Which type of antigen presenting cell, APC, is the most effective at initiating a T cell response? A. Macrophages B. B cells C. Dendritic cells D. Epithelial cells Correct answer C. Dendritic cells Explanation Dendritic cells are the most potent APCs at activating naive T cells. They are found in tissues and migrate to lymph nodes where they present antigens to T cells. While macrophages and B cells can also present antigens, dendritic cells are the primary initiators of T cell responses. Epithelial cells are not typically involved in antigen presentation for T cell activation. Question 12. Which of the following molecules is responsible for activating the classical complement pathway? A. C3B, B, IgG and IgM, C, C5A, D, interferon, gamma. Correct answer, B, IgG and IgM. Explanation. The classical complement pathway is activated when antibodies, specifically IgG and IgM, bind to antigens. This triggers a cascade of complement activation. 
C3B is involved in the alternative and lectin pathways of complement activation. C5A is a potent inflammatory mediator generated during complement activation but does not directly activate the classical pathway. Interferon gamma is a cytokine that activates immune cells but is not directly involved in complement activation. Question 13. What is the main function of regulatory T-cells? Tregs. A. Stimulate B-cells to produce antibodies. B. Suppress the immune response to prevent autoimmunity. C. Kill infected cells. D. Activate the complement system. Correct answer. B. Suppress the immune response to prevent autoimmunity. Explanation. Regulatory T cells, TREGs, are responsible for maintaining immune tolerance by suppressing excessive immune responses that could lead to autoimmunity. Question 14. Which immunoglobulin is primarily involved in the defense against parasitic infections? A. IgA, B. IgD, C. IgE, D. IgG. Correct. Answer C. IgE. Explanation. IgE is the antibody most associated with allergic responses and the defense against parasitic infections, such as helminths. IgA is primarily found in mucosal areas, e.g. respiratory and gastrointestinal tracts. IgD is involved in the activation of B cells, but does not play a significant role in parasitic defense. IgG is the most abundant antibody in the blood, but is more involved in bacterial and viral infections. Question 15. Which of the following cytokines is most associated with the Th1 immune response? A. Interleukin-4, IL-4 B. Interleukin-17, IL-17 C. Interferon gamma, IFN gamma D. Tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNF alpha Correct answer C. Interferon gamma, IFNG Explanation IFNG is the hallmark cytokine of the Th1 immune response, which is involved in the defense against intracellular pathogens. Question 16 what is the primary function of antibodies in the immune system? A. To destroy pathogens directly. B. To neutralize pathogens and enhance phagocytosis. C. To release cytokines. D. To activate complement proteins. Correct answer. B. To neutralize pathogens and enhance phagocytosis. Explanation. Antibodies neutralize pathogens by binding to them preventing infection of host cells, and enhancing phagocytosis through opsonization. Question 17. Which of the following is the primary mechanism by which cytotoxic T-cells, CD8+, kill infected cells? A. Releasing perforin and granzymes. B. Phagocytosis. C. Producing antibodies. D. Releasing interferons. Correct answer. A. Releasing perforin and granzymes. Explanation. Cytotoxic T-cells, CD8 plus kill infected cells by releasing perforin, which forms spores in the target cell membrane, and granzymes, which induce apoptosis. Phagocytosis is carried out by phagocytes, not cytotoxic T cells. Cytotoxic T cells do not produce antibodies. This is the role of B cells. Interferons are released by various immune cells, but are not the primary killing mechanism of cytotoxic T cells. Question 18. Which of the following cells is the most important for initiating the adaptive immune response? A. Macrophages B. Helper T cells C. B cells D. Dendritic cells Correct answer D. Dendritic cells Explanation Dendritic cells are the most efficient antigen-presenting cells and play a critical role in initiating the adaptive immune response by presenting processed antigens to T cells. While macrophages Helper T cells and B cells are essential components of the immune system. Dendritic cells are the most potent at initiating the adaptive immune response. Question 19. Which immunoglobulin is most abundant in the serum and plays a key role in neutralizing toxins and viruses? A. IgAID, B. IgD, C. IgG, D. IgE. Correct answer. C. IgG. Explanation. IgG is the most abundant antibody in the serum and is crucial for neutralizing toxins and viruses as well as activating the complement system. Question 20. Which of the following best describes the role of major histocompatibility complex MHC molecules in immunity? A. They produce antibodies. B. They present antigens to T cells. C. 
they trigger an inflammatory response. D. They kill infected cells. Correct answer. B. They present antigens to T cells. Explanation. MHC molecules are essential for presenting processed antigen fragments to T cells, allowing for T cell activation and initiation of the adaptive immune response. How much you get out of 20?